Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we have some more Funko Fair reveals, and today's is all about movies. So let's get started. Also, before we get into the video, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying the video, consider subscribing because it's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen all of the films or know all of the characters that are gonna be in this episode today, but I do wanna show you guys everything that they announced. And if there's any of these that you guys think that I should watch, let me know. And now guys, the first thing that we're gonna start with here is one figure from Harry Potter. They did announce some Harry Potter figures the other day, but for some reason they announced another Another one today and the one that we have is the Lupin Patronus and now don't get me wrong this figure looks amazing and I am definitely gonna be getting it because I have all of the other Patronuses so far I have Hermione I have Ron and I have Harry and then there's also a couple others that they announced the other day I believe it was I think if I'm not wrong Snape and Dumbledore, I believe, were the two that they announced the other day. I might be wrong about Snape, but I know definitely there was a Dumbledore. So that makes it now, I believe, six. So that is a pretty big collection of just the Patronuses. And then next up, guys, we have another pop director. And this one right here is Spike Lee. Now, I do have a lot of the different directors. Actually, I'll let you guys know which ones I have. We have James Wan, Taika Waititi, J.J. Abrams, Guillermo del Toro, and Alfred Hitchcock. So I do have most of the different directors that they've created. Actually, I think I might be missing only like one or two. So I'm definitely definitely going to be getting Spike Lee. And if you guys do want to know some of the movies that he has directed, I guess we can go through a couple of them here. We've got Do the Right Thing, Black Klansman, Malcolm X, The Five Bloods, She's Gotta Have It, Inside Man, Jungle Fever, Crooklyn, 25th Hour, School Days, the list goes on for a long time. I'm not going to read all of them, but there are some pretty great movies here. And now after Spike Lee, we have two figures from a huge franchise that I know a lot of you guys really enjoy. And this one here is Jacob and Dominic Toretto from Fast 9. Now these figures look pretty much exactly like they do in the film. Of course it's stylized, but they do both look like Jacob and Dom. Now the only thing that I'm having a problem with is why didn't they give them their cars? Like maybe they could be coming out in the future, but for now we're only getting these two and I feel like cars are a pretty big part of the films. Thing is, after Fast 9, we got one that I had actually never heard of before and this one is the Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I mean, these figures do look great. We are getting a Chase as well as a Funko Shop exclusive and it looks like also four of these are different Draculas or maybe they're just Dracula throughout different times in the film because there's a young Dracula and then there's three different versions of Dracula there and I'm just not too sure is it different people or is it the same person growing up throughout the film but whatever it is I do think that these look really great and also I thought that that was Johnny Depp in the middle there with a the top hat on but apparently it's actually Keanu Reeves and I did not know Keanu Reeves played Dracula in a film so that's pretty cool but yeah guys I just don't know much about this film at all I mean I know who Dracula is but I'm sure that this is a different take on Dracula so if anybody wants to let me know more about it please do in the comments section below. Now guys, actually for the next two, I haven't seen either of them, but I do want to show them off to you guys because I know a lot of you guys are probably really excited about these ones here. And this one is Disney's Cool Runnings. Now this one is kind of funny because I've seen most Disney things, but I never heard of Cool Runnings before. I do know that that is John Candy, but other than that, I don't know much about the film. I just looked up what Cool Runnings was about and it says a Jamaican bobsledding team fights many odds, including a reluctant coach to compete in the 1988 Winter Olympics. They train in harsh and sunny climates for a sport that chills them to their bones. So maybe I will We'll watch this one. It sounds kind of interesting. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but I also don't know this one. And this one here is White Men Can't Jump. And I feel like all of these came out before I was actually born, so I never really watched them when they were new. I feel like if it was out when I was alive, I would have at least heard of the movie, but I've actually never heard of White Men Can't Jump. So I'm also going to be looking up this one, because this here is a two-pack going exclusively to Target. Oh, okay, so this is pretty interesting. These two are played by Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. This came out in 1992, so before I was born. And it says, Billy, a Hustler makes a living conning African-American players into believing that he cannot play basketball. He teams up with Sydney, one of his victims, to double his chances. And you know what guys, I'm reading the comments on this post here and it looks like a lot of people really do enjoy this figure. Some people are even saying it is the best reveal today so far. So that is pretty cool. It's too bad that I haven't seen this film because I'm sure it's pretty good. And now guys, let's get into a film that I've actually seen before. And these ones right here are really, really well done. And something that I thought was really cool is I didn't know what movie it was, but just from looking at the one on the left side there, I knew it was Brendan Fraser right away. So Funko, even though very simplistic, killed it with that figure. And I'm not saying that the Funko Pop is simplistic. I'm saying that when it comes to Funko Pop, 
Cyclops, you can make the head very detailed because it would just look off-putting. So to make a figure that looks exactly like the actor, it's really well done. Now steering away from the Rick figure, I think the other two also look amazing, especially the way the mouth is drooping down on the figure there. And with the Evelyn one, you can see the flame on the end of her torch there. I'm hoping that that's kind of translucent because that would look amazing. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't say his name there, it's because I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it I'm Hot Tip? I'm Ho Tip? I'm Ho Tip? I'm Who Tip? I don't know. And then guys, it looks like Funko saved the best announcements for last with a brand new wave of the Goonies. And I think it's really great that they did add some really nice details to the characters, especially with the brand Mikey and Chunk. They gave them things that they do in the films, which makes them look a lot better in my opinion. Like for Mikey, he's holding the map. And then for Brand, he's working out. And I think both of those fit really well with both of their characters. For Data, he just has a lot more stuff on him than the original character. And then for Chunk, of course, he's doing the truffle shuffle. And also guys, I almost forgot, I didn't mention sloth yet but both of those characters do look great we have one where he's got the really tall head and then the other one where he's wearing the pirate hat and i feel like looking at the head there on the right one the walmart exclusive i don't think his head would fit in that hat yeah i don't think so i feel like the head's kind of squished down a little bit but it does make the figure look nicer so i guess that's why they did it and also guys i'm going through the comments here it looks like a lot of people are mad that they did not make a mouth funko pop so maybe if these ones do well they'll do a wave too and anyways, guys, that is all of the reveals for movies today. And I know a lot of people are probably wondering, where is the Godzilla and King Kong one? Apparently, that's supposed to be officially revealed on Friday. But if you guys want to check them out, here are some photos that they put in the Fun TV episode right here. And now, guys, before we get out of here, let's spin the wheel. Now, I recently started getting some comments about why I'm spinning a wheel at the end of my videos. And it's literally just so I could show off more Funko Pops. Rides. Okay, let me get one. All right, guys, so the figure that I went with today was the Share Bear with Cloud Mobile. Now, I chose this one because there isn't really a video I can show it often that I can think of, anyways. And this one was a Funko Shop exclusive that came out last year. And I have been trying to get one of each Care Bear just because I do think that they are some really nice figures. And this is one that I definitely wanted to get. It is sold out now on the Funko Shop, so you can't pick one up, but I'm sure you can find one for a reasonable price over on eBay or Mercari. And I believe that this figure right here is the only way that you can get a Share Bear Funko Pop. So if you wanted to get one of each different Care Bear, you'd have to get this one right here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. She funny with it, funny with it, cool. B54 thump, I'm a hump on a bones, Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby tryna get a meal. Mary had a little lamb, I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. lemma lashes.